Hello and welcome to another video. Now this video has came about because about a week ago I made a feature showing how to get a little bit more performance out of a locked Haswell CPU. Now this is because that the advertised turbo boost frequency that you see when you buy your CPU actually only applies to two cores. And if you're like me with an i5 processor, when an application is using all four cores, you're actually running at a lower turbo boost frequency. But as I've shown in the video up in the corner, it is actually possible to lock all four cores at their maximum turbo boost frequency. Now on my gaming rig, I'm using an aftermarket cooler in the form of the Ryzen Tech IDOS. And for me, there was absolutely no problem in running at this higher frequency. But the question has been asked if it's still wise to lock the turbo boost frequency when using a stock cooler. So today I'm going to be investigating if changing back to the stock OEM cooler is actually going to throw up any problems. When we compare the two coolers, it's easy to see why we get such a performance increase with aftermarket coolers. The standard Intel cooler is tiny, it's got a really small noisy fan and actually directs hot air back into the case. So the test that we're using, as always, is going to be 3D Mark, and as per the previous video, we can still lock the CPU by going into the motherboard BIOS, and this gives us an extra 200 megahertz with all four cores running, and it does actually yield some performance increases as I've shown. So with the aftermarket cooler, we reached a temperature of about 47 degrees in the 3D Mark physics test. However, when rerunning this test with the OEM cooler on, the temperature actually rose by 9 degrees C. Now, this is obviously not anywhere near the thermal limit of the CPU, but it still shows how big a difference an aftermarket cooler can make, especially when you're running at frequencies higher than standard. Uh, not to mention the OEM heatsink was also a good bit noisier. And if you're interested in aesthetics at all, especially in a budget case, nothing says I've run out of money like an OEM heatsink. So you're saying it's only 9 degrees higher, but with this in mind, I really cannot wholeheartedly recommend that anyone who runs a processor above the standard speeds is using an OEM heatsink. Now it might be entirely possible that you have absolutely no problems, but from personal experience, the temperatures of a CPU and the temperatures of a computer in general can vary greatly depending on a huge number of factors. For example, the room temperature, even the weather can change the results of a temperature test. And for $15, a cooler like the Bargain Basement IDOS it offers so much more performance than a stock CPU cooler. So for me, the hot and noisy OEM cooler is going to be returning to storage, where it really belongs, and the IDOS is going to be getting cleaned down and returning to its rightful place. Anyway folks, if you liked this, hit that subscribe and like button, and if you disliked it, you know what to do, and I'll see you again in the next video.